And again, live here on the road in Napamo, we are standing at one of the Central Coast's most fascinating and unique destinations. This building right behind me, it's the Dana Adobe. This state historical landmark is now officially known as the Dana Cultural Center. It's a place that gives visitors here an opportunity to experience what life was like here more than 170 years ago. It's a journey into California's past. You can go back in time. It's very easy to do. A visit here is to understand the humble beginnings of Napomo, founded by Captain William Dana. Dana Adobe is um, a Mexican land grant. Uh, the Dana family moved here in 1839. What remains is their fully restored home, along with more than 100 preserved acres. Many of the old buildings in California are surrounded by, you know, traffic, by cities. So we're rather unique in that regard. We have a wonderful view shed. This map is an aerial view of Rancho Napomo as it was. A sprawling 38,000 acres, the rancho covered most of what is now South San Luis Obispo County. From the sand dunes to the Santa Maria River to Los Barros to the Tematadia Ridge, which is east of us. This is the sala or the parlor. Recently renamed the Dana Cultural Center, the site gives visitors a first-hand experience of an era long past. We really do try to focus on that when we have visitors come. Uh, there was no running water, no electricity. There were vaqueros on the property. Um, it was a working rancho. Now, it's also a popular destination for local schools. We do have field trips for third and fourth graders. They come here throughout the school year. We have many activities. Good job. Including lessons in brick building, tortilla making, roping, branding, dancing, and much more. Looking to the future, the center is set to add several new features just to the south of the adobe that will enhance the cultural experience here for visitors. This will be part of the nature education project. There will be hiking trails, possibly equestrian trails, um, native plants. It's also slated a new visitor center, Chumash interpretive area, and classroom space. When completed, it will enhance what is already a jewel of the Central Coast, where time has seemingly stood still and where history still lives. Now, that construction on the new enhancements will begin later this year, Paula. Uh, it will be uh, scheduled to be finished by uh, next year. More than 3,000 people visited last year, including 1,400 students. Those numbers will greatly increase once those new uh, improvements come aboard here in just about a year and a half or so. I love the course in brick making. That sounds like a terrific course to take. It, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> By the way, if you want to come out here, it is open weekends only, Saturday from uh, from 10 to 1, Sunday from 1 to 4. They're also doing weddings out here now, as you can see right here. Beautiful location oh, for those. It would be absolutely <laughs> beautiful because the weather mm -hmm. is so beautiful. Even on a, on a chilly, windy day like today, it's we're, still great out here. We're in the shade. We're in the shade. Yeah, Jason over there is in the sun. It's a little warm. He's warmer. in the sun. Let's check this. <laughs>